Employment numbers for the state are out and it won't be a surprise if you've cruised the local job postings or on the flip side, if you've struggled to try to hire people here in Erie County in December, the unemployment rate was just 3.2%. It's actually the lowest that's ever been recorded for a December. And joining us live to talk about it is Timothy Glass. He is a labor market analyst with the New York State Department of Labor and focusing on the Western region. Uh, it's really great to have you on here. And I know, you know, we get the unemployment numbers for the country, right, each month. And there's a little bit of a lag. And then we learn about New York State and locally. Um, what do you think is the headline here in terms of what the job market is like in Western New York and, and across New York? Um, what the job market is like is uh, right now, our, as our unemployment rate being at the lowest it's been in over 30 years, going back for the, the series, uh, back to 1990. Um, the uh, current, current uh, it, it shows us that the um, labor force has a, uh, a shortage right now of workers. Um, there's just, before the uh, pandemic, we averaged about uh, 664,000 workers or in the labor force. And right now we're at about uh, 640,000. So we're down, we're down quite a bit. Um, that's not only from the employed side, side, but also the unemployed. The unemployed is also at all time 30 year low. Um, so that shows us that, uh, that there's, there's a gap there right now of people coming back to the labor force. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's so interesting when you look at these numbers that, you know, when you have a low unemployment rate, you think always that's just good news, right? It means that people who are out there who are looking for a job are able to find one, and that's absolutely true. But on the flip side, we know that there are so many businesses who are looking for workers and who are having a hard time finding them. It's, it's a strange dichotomy. Uh, yes, it is. Um, like I said, with the slack in the labor force right now, I mean, it, we're not sure where it is, um, if there's workers still um, that are, are having issues with either um, transportation issues, uh, if there's still a skills gap involved, um, also child care issues. And uh, during the pandemic, a great amount of um, people decided to retire early and that affected, uh, that affected the slope of, of retirements, even though it was quite, gr quite great to begin with, with the, all the baby boomers retiring at the time, it accelerated from then. Finally, Tim, I know we've seen some of these headlines around the country. Um, we've heard from like Microsoft and Google before them, Twitter doing some of these big layoffs, some of the tech companies. There are worries um, out there that we could be heading into a recession maybe sometime later this year. Who knows if that's if that's going to happen? Are we seeing anything in Western New York or New York State that shows that employers out there are looking at laying people off or are, are we still really in that sort of strong labor market right now? I think we're still in the strong labor market. Uh, like I said, with the labor shortage, um, there's, there is um, about uh, three, uh, three employers for every two job seekers. Um, so you're still, you're still in, in that area where people, where employers are not in, desperate for people. Yeah, absolutely. 3.2% the unemployment rate in Erie County for the month of December. Um, I haven't seen that in a long, long time, if ever, as far as, as records have been kept. Uh, we've been joined tonight by labor market analyst Timothy Glass with the State Department of Labor. Uh, really appreciate you taking some time and, and helping us understand this. We'll talk to you again soon. No problem. Thank you. All right.